Exkluzív interjút adott a katonai sajtónak Eden Goodman. A Mid Atlantic Films egyik tulajdonosának nevéhez olyan hollywoodi szuperprodukciók fűződnek, mint például a Die Hard sorozat hazánkban forgatott ötödik része, amelyben a Magyar Honvédség helikopterei is feltűntek. Az angol filmproducert hazai forgatásokról, emlékezetes élményekről és olyan régebbi produkciókról is kérdeztük, mint például a Ryan közlegény megmentése, amelynek elkészítésében szintén közreműködött. There's a, there's a phrase, uh, I think a military phrase, you know, keep, keeping a, a cool hand under fire. And metaphorically, the same thing. So, you know, I, I don't, it, it's only when I look back now that I think about how enormous the movie was. And um, I remember standing on, it's the only time it's ever happened in my career actually. I remember standing on the beaches in Ireland when we were doing the battle, the opening battle sequence and the explosions were going, the, the, the sand was shaking, uh, we had uh, paraplegic and, and uh, you know, amputees dressed as soldiers coming off uh, ramps of, of uh, uh, springs of, of, of the thing. and for, for a minute I was there. I actually believed that even though there were cameras, even there was 300 people dressed in modern, I believed, I felt like I was somewhere else. And normally when you stand on a film set, there's so many other things, the cameras, the lights, it's very hard to suspend your uh, disbelief. It's very hard to imagine yourself. But when the, the barges, the landing barges were coming in and the, the, the explosions and the gunfire, It, it, was, it felt very real, and that's, a, that's never happened to me on any movie. Um, and I think that's, you know, I, I have many uh, anecdotal stories. Um, one was that um, in a movie, an actor has many different, has the same costume, but in many different types, old, new, because you film this, the, the movie in different times, so you have to, One day he's looking in his smart, one day, and I remember knocking, uh, we changed the scene order in the movie, and uh, I get a message through, through Spielberg, we need Tom Hanks immediately, we, we need him now. So I knock on the door, and he's asleep in his, uh, in his trailer, so I wake him up, Mr. Hanks, I'm, I'm sorry to wake you, but we need you on set now, you know, and the, and the beach was, you know, like a five minute drive. And he wakes up, and uh, he said, uh, and he was, all, he was wearing his costume, But in the movie, the designer had wanted him to wear a slightly different costume, maybe a little bit more dust here, maybe a little bit more dirt here. And he looks at me, and I said, you know, obviously you need to change into your, he looked at me, he said, and he, hold, he holds the, the costume up, he said, can you tell the difference? I said, me, not so much. No, I personally, I don't, but obviously it's your decision. He said, me neither. And he puts the costume on the floor and he rubs dirt with his feet like this, He says, okay, we go. And we go down to the set and Spielberg, oh, you look great, it's a great design. He says, oh, you look terrific, you're, you know. You're... And it, it, was, it was those kind of true but, but funny moments on a, a very stressful movie that I look back on now. Um, and in fact, this morning, I, someone posted on Facebook, I have a picture on Facebook from, uh, it's the crew from Saving Private Ryan, like 300 people, and I'm there, Spielberg, Hanks, and people started liking it, and Tom Hanks' driver said, do you remember the day uh, with the Mini, with the, with the car? I said, I, I, I couldn't remember. And he just reminded me, he put it on Facebook, he reminded me there was a day when Tom Hanks' driver turned up at the, the base, and I would meet him each morning and I opened the door and he wasn't there. And it's like, it's Tom Hanks, wait, is and the driver, it was, a, it was a joke, he said, I have no idea. I thought he was in the car. I, I, I. And then a second later, Tom Hanks comes driving down in a mini, comes racing down, we, we, were, we were filming, we had a, um, uh, we were at a military base on a runway, um, a disused runway. He was just driving down the thing, but, The shock, I remember, now I remember, I remember the shock thing, I've lost the actor, I've lost the lead, lead, in, the lead actor in the film, he's just suddenly disappeared. So it's, films, films for me are filled with, you know, there are moments when you think, God, I, I saw my life 
go before me. And there are times when you, you know, when you laugh. Having a film production company, I always compare it to being a, a real estate agent. You show someone, a, you, you, 10 people go and see the house you want to sell, maybe, maybe one of them wants to buy. And it's the same with, with our business. We, you know, we budget, we schedule, we, we look for locations. People come, they get excited, and then you never, you never hear again. Nothing, not, not, not thank you, not goodbye, not we're not coming, just nothing. So it's, it's you know, one of the, one of the, when I was a freelance producer, so when I traveled all over the world and when I worked outside of Hungary, the most exciting thing for me was the phone call. Are you available? That, that kind of, because then you feel that, the, that someone respects you and they, they feel you're, you're worth hiring. And now that I have a, a production company, it's the same feeling when someone says, we're coming, the, the film is happening. That, that buzz, that high, that, that, yes, we have another movie, you know, we, we will, you know, we will hire, you know, many hundreds, if not thousands of, of subcontractors and crew. And, and I, I it's, a, it's a good feeling to keep, it's a good feeling that to keep the international film industry moving forward here to, to grow. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a good feeling because, you know, again, Hollywood has confidence in Hungary now, which is, which is, you know, which is not because of us, it's because of the, the Hungarian crew.